Bree, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Sarah Bree, and we're making customer service smarter. So I'm here to talk to you today about a problem that you've all encountered, but you probably don't think about too much. So let's say my internet goes out, and I want to figure out why. So the first thing I do is I call my internet service provider, and I talk to some computer who tells me to press one if this is my problem, press two, etc. So then I put on I put on hold, and I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and finally I get to an agent, but it's the wrong one, they, the computer misunderstood my problem, so now I'm back on hold, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and finally I get to an agent who tells me that they're just doing some road work, and it'll be back in a few hours. So, that was a 10 minute process for a 10 second problem. And call centers aren't great for call centers either. They're extremely expensive. 70% of costs are spent on personnel alone. And also, every time you guys are put on hold, 20% of you will just hang up, which isn't great because most of these call centers are here for customer satisfaction. Tons of calls are rerouted, and on average, these questions only take about 20 seconds to answer. So we thought, what if we could focus on just one of these problems and eliminate or reduce the rest of them? So that's what we did. We wanted to look at this 20 second number right here. 20 seconds means that these questions are super simple because the answers are so short, which is something that cognitive computing is great at. So for those of you who don't know, cognitive computing is the ability for a computer to think just like a human. And that's something that IBM Watson, the computer that won Jeopardy, is also really good at. So we thought, what if we could use IBM Watson to answer these simple questions? Well, that's exactly what we did. We created a two-part solution, a consumer and a call center facing solution. So consumers can get instant answers using IBM Watson, and call centers can analyze these interactions and gain insights into their consumers, and also they can ask Watson themselves. So here's a little bit how it works. The first step is collecting content. So we take any documents that a normal call center would have access to. The next thing that we do is we format the data and we train Watson so that people can ask questions about the data we just put in. The next thing we do is we build a solution. So whether it's a mobile app, a web chat, or even a Twitter bot, we want you to grow your call center the way you want. And there are tons of benefits to this. We can save a representative size call center about $9 million a year. We can also reduce hold time by about 15 seconds, which makes holding much better for those of you who still want to call instead of using an app. We can also reduce the number of rerouted calls, and most importantly, consumers can get instant answers without ever having to dial a number. So we created our pilot program with United Way 211 Call Center here in Austin. So they're a call center that takes questions from everything from homeless shelters to food pantries to questions about vaccinations. And we created an app so residents of right here in Austin can ask 